Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot and I am back again today with another awesome, super exciting tutorial. This is gonna be in Photoshop where we are going to be recreating the Blade Runner title text style in Photoshop. Now the actual Blade Runner style text uh, was actually a little bit of 3D, but I wanted to make this complete 2D, teach you a couple of awesome, amazing, fantastic techniques uh, to make this. As you can see on the screen, on the thumbnail, this is what we're gonna be creating. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here I am in Photoshop and this is my final project file where uh, I have everything laid out. Now I'm going to be teaching you how to make only for, you know, the word design pilot uh, and, and all you have to do for the others is just change the color and you are good to go. So uh, let's get started. So here I am on a new document with this 1280 by 720. So if I go to image and choose uh, canvas size. You can choose this 1280 by 720. You can choose whatever dimensions you want, that is up to you. Now I will be going back and front to uh, figure this thing out because I really don't know the steps I did. So the first thing is we wanna get in, I'm gonna hide all the layers and I'm gonna start revealing them one by one. So the first one is the simple design pilot. Uh, so the font I used for this is called Blade Runner Movie Font, which you can download from dafont.com. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to quickly download that. All right, so we can go and uh, just type in a design pilot and let's go and change this to Blade Runner. Uh, at this stage, the color does not matter. Okay, then you can scale this up. All right, there you go. Uh, this looks a little weird, so you can right click and you can choose rasterize type and then you can use the eraser tool in case you want to rub out some parts. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this down. All right, so you can rub this off, that's what I did. And then you can do the same thing and you can move it around, whatever. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this one again. It's the same one and paste it over here, delete, control T to control, you can press control T or command T to um, scale it. Press control zero to fit to screen. And I'm gonna press Control A to make a selection and come here to the tool and we can align this. All right, press Control D to deselect. Perfect. Now the next one is uh, these set of clouds. All right, uh, so for this, what I'm gonna do is, uh, now this is depending on your color. So let's try a blue version this time. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this to color overlay and let's do a bluish version this time. So uh, something like that. We have a blue or actually let's control let's control Z that I'm going to press I on my keyboard to get the eyedropper tool and I'm going to just click and uh, find out which color code this is. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go and double click, go to uh, color overlay and I'm going to paste this. But this time I'm just going to move the slider like so and uh, we are going to get something like that and I'll click on OK. And then we'll right click and choose rasterize layer style. So we have this color now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press I on my keyboard uh, to and, and uh, select this color. And I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna select the same color as this. But this time I'm gonna make it a little kind of a bit darker. Now this is something you have to play around with. So we have two shades of blue. I'm gonna create a new layer, go to filter, go to render, and I'm gonna choose uh, clouds. Okay, and that's gonna give me this kind of weird cloud texture. I can also go to filter, um, uh, where is that filter, uh, render and choose a difference clouds, which is going to make it a little weird, but this is more black and blue. So I'm going to control Z that this is what we get. And then we'll right click and choose create clipping mask. And as you can see, this is what we have. Now, if you want more contrast, what you, what I would suggest do is increase the brightness on the foreground and go to the background and add in a little bit more darkness. And then we can go add a filter and choose render and choose clouds again on the same layer. And as you can see, we have a little bit more of a contrast. All right, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna press E on my keyboard to get the eraser, set this to a soft brush. And uh, I'm gonna increase this, all right? And then what you can do is you can just rub this off like so. You know, as you can see, it's, it's getting rubbed off there slowly, like so. There you go. And I'm gonna press Control J to make a copy and put this out. And uh, as you can see, we have a little bit, we have a little bit more 
I can just move this offset off the offset this slightly. And let's see if I added any blending modes. Uh, no, this is a hundred percent normal, and this is a hundred percent normal again. So as you can see, we have this light to a dark transition. If you want, you can we can bring this down a little bit, like so. All right, and we're gonna leave it like that, and that looks much better. So uh, the next thing is we have these kind of bright spots, as you can see over here. So this is basically a bright spot. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to press B on my keyboard to get the brush tool. Uh, set this to a soft brush. Reduce the size. All right. And I'm going to set this, the foreground color to a complete white. And I'm going to pick areas and just click here, which random spots, which places, you know, I kind of feel that I need bright. And I'm going to set this to overlay. And I'm going to go right click and choose create clipping mask. All right. Now, if I hide this on and off, you can see the difference. If you want, you can press Ctrl J to make a copy. And if you want it to be more bright and also you can go ahead and merge these two and uh, make sure that these are on overlay. And that's what is going to give the glow effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this glow. I'm going to call this clouds one and I'm going to call this clouds two perfect all right so let's go back here and see what we have so as you can see over here i have this little thin shiny glow and, and then i have a little blurred out glow so we're going to do that so what i'm going to do is i am going to go create a new layer actually let's actually not do that let's take this design pilot layer the first layer make a copy by pressing ctrl j and we are going to move this to the top now that screws up all this so we are going to right click and choose create clipping mask so this one is going to be the thin glow. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go double click and I'm going to go and set this to stroke and I'm going to set the position to inside blending mode to overlay the color to white and the size to two. You can increase the size to two, three, four, five, depending on whatever your requirement is and choose. Okay. And then before you do anything else, I'm going to set the fill to zero. So what that does is as you can see over here, we have only the stroke and no background that's what the fill does so if i increase the fill you can see it gets filled and set this to zero this is what we have all right and i'm gonna right click and then i'm gonna choose a uh, rasterize layer style so we have only the glow now this becomes white again so we need to go and set this to overlay and there you go and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go select this uh, glow and just right click and choose release clipping mask and uh, so we have only these glows in these certain spots so I'm, I want the stroke to be visible only where we have the, the glows. So I'm going to press E on my keyboard to get the eraser tool and make sure that my brush is a soft round brush. All right. And uh, size is set to 200. You can increase it to whatever you want. And then I'm going to go and just click on areas slowly where there is no glow. All right. So just a few spots here and there. You don't want to do it too much. Just a little bit. All right. To make it look teeny tiny bit realistic. All right. You can decrease this and just click here once. Uh, and I think that is looking pretty good. And then I'm going to go and right click and choose um, create clipping mask. And there you go. You can see the glow is only over here. If you want, you can press Ctrl J to increase the, the density of the glow and then select these two and then choose uh, merge layers. All right. And that's going to make it white again. So we need to go and set this to overlay again. And uh, that's looking pretty good at the moment. Now what I want to do is I'm going to make a copy by pressing Ctrl J and this is going to be a uh, glow blur. All right. And uh, this thin glow, I'm just going to set this to thin glow. All right. Now I'm going to select the glow blur, go to filter blur and choose a Gaussian blur. All right. Now 25 is a big fat amount. So I'm going to set this to something like two or maybe three or four or five. I think five. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. It moves in such a way. So let's try five. Uh, let's try four. Let's try three. I think three looks good. All right. You see, we have this nice glow. If you want, you can make a copy by pressing Ctrl J and we have a much more cool sci-fi style work. And uh, yet again, you can press E and delete off some areas that you don't want. Even on the glows, you can just go and, you know, do a little bit of touch up. Now that looks super cool. That looks super sci-fi. All right. So coming back over here, this is what we have. Um, I have set this down to 50 and this was to 100. So depending on how intense you want, I can set this to 50. Depending on how intense you want, you can play around with it. Now, once all this is done, it is practically done. So I'm going to select all the layers. 
press ctrl G to group them and this is going to be our BG and this is just going to be our uh, main text all right now as you can see over here I had my subtext which was a pretty nice effect it is not a simple flat text so let me just open this up so we have open this up um, let me show you the color first so the color is this kind of a I don't know what kind of color this is but it's 4E535E that is the color code and I have added a little bit of bevel and emboss let me just try to see if I can show you over here so if I turn off the bevel and emboss you can see the difference and this gives it a very subtle and but a much more cool look so the bevel and emboss settings are depth set to 2 size is set to 1 90 30 and the settings remain the same and uh, I did the same thing for the text 2018 and uh, the same process and we have a fantastic result so that's pretty much it on how to use Photoshop to create a very sci-fi style text effect uh, from the Blade Runner series hope you guys really liked it if you did let me know in the comment section down below leave a like on the video subscribe to my channel and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye